Hi Taurus, welcome to my channel. Welcome to Angel Love 333. We're going to do your money and career reading. As always, this is a general reading and may not resonate with everyone out there. So just take the messages that resonate with you. All right. Um, everything else is on the, in the description box. I'm just going to mention if you're new to my channel, you, um, I do give away personal readings each month. To enter, you just need to subscribe, like, and comment. If you're already a subscriber, welcome back. And uh, you just need to like and comment to enter the giveaway. So I hope everyone's well, healthy, and safe. I'm going to pull out your cards, Taurus, before we get started. And we will go from there. Oh, what's going on here? Let's try this a different way. I haven't used these cards in a while. And they're pretty worn. But I really like this stuff. Okay, there we go. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do we have for Taurus? What does Taurus need to know? Sun, moon, rising on Venus. So Taurus, there is a playlist link below if you want to check out your other signs for more messages and guidance. Oh, there it is. Let's see what you got here from the Animal Spirit Oracle deck. Okay. So, I feel, Taurus, uh, there's a situation here. You have number 54, oh, which is 9. You got the Skunk Spirit, know your worth. All right. So, I'm not necessarily feeling like you are feeling not worthy. I feel like there may be a situation when it comes to your career that maybe somebody didn't value you, right? But this also can be an energy come to say that um, maybe you are, per se, undervaluing yourself. An example here, if you have some sort of business, okay, whether you do this full time, you do this part time, or, you know, you do something on the side to make extra money. There's an energy here where I feel like you could be shorting yourself. Um, and it's interesting, I'm hearing two things here for you. So one, you could be shorting yourself, but maybe you're not charging enough, right? Um, and so you're not making a whole lot of profit. Um, for others, I'm also hearing this message, and it may be for specific people. If you own your own business and you have expenses, you may be overlooking some expenses that you are not tracking, um, that you are not writing off for your taxes, okay? So which can cause, you know, um, less write-offs at the end of the year. So that's going to be for very few, few of you. Now, <clears throat> the other energy here is you may be in a job situation where you're just not feeling like you're valued, right? It could be, you know, you're in a competitive um, market, okay, or job sector where you're just not feeling like you're paid enough, or maybe there's a lot of competition for what you do. You know, if you're applying for jobs, maybe you're finding here that, you know, they're not paying what you want to pay, right? Or you're stuck in a job where you just don't feel valued, whether it's because of pay or, you know, whether it's just because you're not feeling happy. And I want to say, you know, a lot of times people will stay in, a, if they're happy and they don't get paid a lot, a lot of times people will stay in a job position because they feel valued and they're happy even though they may not be making as much as they think they should be making. I actually uh, worked for a big corporation for many years and I managed people and um, 
people will be loyal and stay, right? If you are valued. So whether this has to do for you for, you know, undervaluing yourself or you're just in a situation where you're not feeling valued because I do see here with this Eight of Swords, <clears throat> excuse me, there's an energy here of feeling stuck, okay? And with the Hangman, again, an energy here feeling stuck, maybe feeling, um, you know, like you're kind of tied to the situation or you may be in a complicated situation. <coughs> Excuse me. So you have here also a uh, number 44, which is the Panther Spirit, Reclaim Your Power. So this is a very powerful card here. Okay, so I feel this is definitely a very simple message. This is about knowing your worth, right? Reclaiming your power. And um, number 44 is a repeating number. So if you're seeing synchronicities of four, this definitely will be a message that you resonate here with, okay? Now, reclaiming your power, the energy I get with this as well is, you know, that doesn't mean to uh, reclaim your power in an aggressive way, okay? The panther is very graceful. So I feel there's an energy here of reclaiming your power, but doing it in a way of gratitude and grace, okay? So let's look at your reading here. So you have the Page of Pentacles and you have the King of Pentacles, and it's very interesting. We have the page here. This is where I feel like there's an energy of, um, you know, not getting a whole lot, okay? But I feel the message I heard when I saw these two cards, because I read cards intuitively, not just by the meanings, but the energy I'm feeling is the potential. Your potential here, Taurus, is to be this King of Pentacles, right? To do very well for yourself. Now, it may be an energy you're in a position or a job, or you may have just started a business and you feel like you are not valued. And like I said, for some of you, you may be shorting yourself in some sort of way, right? But for others, it can be you're in a position where, you know, you don't feel like you are val valued by the amount of money you make. It's going to be different for all of you. But definitely your energy here. The potential, I feel for you, Taurus, is very good here with this King of Pentacles. Now you have the Justice and you have the Nine of Cups. So this is very beautiful. I do sense there is some sort of karmic reward here, some sort of justice coming in for your situation. I feel here, too, um, for some of you, this could be a legal situation. Uh, especially if this has to do with a workplace, right? And uh, you are in the midst of some sort of legal um, action, right, with your workplace. If that is the case, I feel what, what you're hoping for and wishing for, I do sense here there is going to be some sort of payout, okay? Uh, that's not going to be for all of you. But I also sense here there's an energy where there is something very nice coming in for you, okay? I feel um, something that you've been hoping and you've been wishing for that's going to bring a lot of balance here. But it's also an energy here with the Justice card is equal give and take, right? What type, what kind of work you put in is what you're going to receive, right? I'm also hearing like if you if you if you think if you have like a small mindset, I don't know if small is the word, but a um, a mindset of you know you're only applying for positions at a certain level, but really um, you could learn some sort of new skill, right? Or do more research, apply for different positions um, that may be different from your typical uh, scenario. I feel there could be a new job offer coming in for you here with the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, you can see this person does very well. They have a lot of growth, a lot of money here, money that you can put away, right? I feel there's a sense here that you're feeling stuck, okay? Um, or maybe you are feeling, you know, with this Eight of Swords, that maybe you're stuck in a situation and you don't feel, and look here, you also have the Five of Pentacles. So it very well could be that you feel that um, 
you know, you're lacking something or you're lacking some sort of skill set, right? And I feel it's, you know, um, could be your thought process in the situation that could be holding you back because I do feel like there is um, abundance here for you, okay? Some sort of offer, some sort of growth. If you don't currently have work, I feel there's an energy that you just need to keep searching. You keep, need to keep going online, doing some research here. For some of you, it may be some sort of new skill, right, that you are doing, okay? That's going to lead to this potential here, I feel, with this King of Pentacles, right? For some of you, you know, if you're in a current uh, situation and a current job and you're feeling stuck, I feel like what they're saying here is that um, there is something better here for you, but you got to do the research, right? Or there may be some sort of new skill that you're needing to, to learn here. Some of you, I feel, you know, if you're feeling undervalued or underpaid, uh, some of you, you know, and I'm just going to say it's going to depend on your situation, but some of you may need to speak up, okay, uh, with your employer here, okay, if you are feeling very much so in undervalued in your situation. So let's pull some more cards. Thank you, angels and spirit, for your guidance. What messages do you have for Taurus in money and career? I feel there's something here that's going to build that's going to be very nice for you. Because in the center of your reading, there is some sort of justice here, okay? You've got the King of Pentacles, the Justice card, and the Nine of Pentacles. Tells me you're going to do very well for yourself. You have the Star card. You have the Two of Pentacles. And you have the Temperance card. Okay, look at that. Bottom of the deck here, you have the Ten of Wands. So if you've been struggling or feeling like you're carrying a heavy load, I feel like that is going to come to an end here, right? Releasing uh, those burdens. So I feel you're coming to an end here. And look at that. Yeah, the Emperor. So for some of you, very well, you could be uh, struggling with a business here. Maybe you're struggling with your boss. I see that energy as well. Uh, I feel here too, you know, this is about you taking control of your career right and your money here some of you may be starting your own business i feel like some of you you know you could be in a situation where you have a job and you're working you know feeling underpaid feeling undervalued and some of you may be just at the point where you want to start your own business is what i'm getting here Okay, so you may want to, you may be starting your own business to earn extra money here. You have the star card, right? Right next to this King of Pentacles. So you start out as this page. You have the King of Pentacles here and you have the star card. I feel this is saying that things are going to come into alignment for you. There is some sort of uh, something you've been hoping and wishing for, I feel here, is going to come to fruition. But, you know, you definitely have to put in the work to do it. It's not just going to come to you. All right. Center of your reading here is the justice card. So there is some sort of justice. Can be karmic justice, good karma coming your way. Like I said, could be some sort of legal action, some sort of payout. It's going to bring you some sort of money. I feel here too there's something with a contract. You could get a contract, whether you own a business or you're in your career, that's going to uh, provide very well for you. Okay, going to give you more than enough here with the Queen of Pentacles, I'm sorry, the Nine of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. All right. You also have here the Two of Pentacles. So I do feel like this could be a potential challenge in your situation. You may have to juggle finances for a little bit. For some of you, you could be juggling two jobs, like I talked about. You could, uh, you know, maybe you're you're going to get a second job, but for others, I feel this could be you starting a business, making money on the side, and you may be juggling, uh, to, you know, a couple things here. You also have the Temperance card telling you it's going to take patience. It's going to take time right um you know 
this king of pentacles unless you get some big payout right <laughs> it, you know it doesn't uh you don't gain all that wealth immediately right you start out here as the page and i feel here there's an energy of getting to this king of pentacles okay something fair so let's um pull some guidance cards here for you taurus I feel you have a very nice reading here for you, okay? But there's something around with that skunk spirit that you just may not be valuing yourself, your skills, being paid what you're worth, okay? You may be shorting yourself in some sort of way. Okay, what do we got here? Look at that. Go the distance. Don't give up, right? Reclaim your power. Stay strong. You're going to meet the goal your goals here and you're going to cross that finish line there is success okay clean it up right so there may be something here where you know you may be feeling in an energy where you know this ten of wands energy you may be carrying some challenges with you or some burdens from the past here taking on a heavy workload okay it, this is kind of an energy here where you're kind of getting rid of some of those past things you know they can be behaviors but they also can be some things in your life that are burdening you okay so i always see this as this must be this may be musty energy where uh you need to just clear that energy and you need to come up with some new uh, innovative ways right maybe you need some new goals here as well okay new ideas a new way of thinking what do we got here and look at that i told you oh my gosh i feel i feel that energy here that there's something very nice coming in for you and I always say here, there's a turtle here, so you're going to need some patience, right? And turtles do kind of move slower in water. They move faster in water than on land, but uh, they're still not really, really quick like, you know, a dolphin. But I feel there is definitely abundance coming towards you, right? It's very beautiful energy here. Wow. So, uh, Taurus, I hope you enjoyed your reading. I do feel it's very positive. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day or evening, and I'm sending you angel love.